Hi everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 37th episode of our Java programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we are going to talk about the flow layout in Java. This and more when we come back. I have here a blank frame generated by this simple um, program. It only um, extends a JFrame and um, constructor method with the method set title. Uh, this to have uh, using flow layout uh, text on the title bar. We have the set size or the width and height of our frame. The set visible true because by default this one is hidden, and we have the set default close operation so that every time we close this um, uh, close button or X button um, over here. Uh, this one will um, exit uh, successfully. Okay, so that's it. Now, uh, our task is to display the uh, GUI components that I have here. Okay, so first, let me uh, just um, declare. Um, I have here four um, buttons. So we need, I have instantiated this one. Okay, and also a one a text area. Okay, using JText area, uh, there are two um, parameters. We have the number of rows and the number of columns. So our task is to display all these uh, GUI components, the four buttons and one text area in uh, our frame. Okay, now how are we going to do that? Within the um, constructor method, okay, we can uh, make use of the add method here. And then for example, I want to add the first object, which is the uh, three digit in a, in a frame. So uh, if we're going to run, okay, so what have you noticed? We have now a frame with a three digit um, button, okay, but if we're going to maximize this, okay, you will notice that that uh, GUI component occupies all the uh, the entire screen, okay, so let's try to add another uh, GUI component. This time, we now have, a, have a two uh, GUI components, the three digit and the four uh, digit. If we're going to run this, Okay, I want you to observe um, this one. Okay, um, we can uh, only see the four digit. Okay, the the latest or that uh, added in in the uh, frame. So what about the three digit? Okay, if we're going to maximize this, okay, we can't see the three three digit. It's because the three digit is behind uh, of the uh, four digit, meaning there is an overlapping um, happened. Okay. Um, in our frame because that's um, the way it is by default so in this uh, particular case is the right time for us to use the layout manager okay so that that's why we have um, a built-in layout managers and on this episode I'm going to discuss the flow um, layout this is the basic uh, layout manager that is um, available in uh, Java okay so that we can see all the uh, GUI components in our uh, frame and there's no um, overlapping okay now but how are we going to start and um what is this uh, flow layout all about okay so let me just um show you well, uh, the flow layout uh, by the way is a class within java uh, that awt or abstract windowing toolkit so it is used to arrange a gui components in a sequence one after the other okay so like for instance we have here now the buttons and the text area okay if uh, we're going to add all of these um, GUI components, okay, take note that the order, uh, the way that we uh, uh, add these uh, GUI components, okay, for example, if we uh, add the uh, three digit first, followed by four digit and a uh, five digit, that's the, the meaning of this one, okay, it arranges uh, GUI components in a sequence, one after the other, okay, from left to right, okay, so. Um, now, how are we going to use uh, or set a layout manager, which is the flow layout? Okay, we can use the set layout um, manager to do that. And then, um, inside of the uh, parenthesis or argument of set layout, we, we can now use the um, object name. Or, or but before that, okay, before we use the object name that I've created, 
So you can actually uh, directly put the um, here if you don't want to use an, any object name or flow layout. So you just have to specify new and then flow layout class. And then for example, this one is an um, no argument of flow layout. So if so, what's the difference now? Uh, since we uh, now have a layout manager, which is the flow layout. Okay, and then we uh, add, for example, this uh, GUI components. Okay, if we're going now to run this, okay, here's the result now. Okay, so as you can see, we have now the four um, buttons and one text area that uh, you can uh, actually uh, type um, anything inside of the uh, text area. If, it, if you're going to uh, maximize, okay, so what have you noticed using the uh, flow layout? It arranges GUI components in the order, uh, like for example, in how we uh, have added it. First, uh, with a three digit, followed by a four, five digit, and six digit in the text area. But if it, uh, if we maximize the um, frame, okay, and if the uh, GUI components can be, you know, can fit in all in one line, so the um, uh, layout, the flow layout will display that all in one line, unless we reduce the, the width of this uh, frame, for example. So that's it, okay? Now, so that's how the uh, flow layout um, works, okay? So let us try another um, example. So this is only one example, okay? If we're, the second uh, way of doing of using a flow layout is by um, instantiating an object. So let's say, for example, okay? Um, if we have already an object layout here, so instead of using a new flow layout there, we can just um, only use that object name. So for example, sorry, layout. Okay, so that's it. So the effect is still the same, okay? Except that this time around, we, uh, we've we used now the object name of flow layout, okay? So next, let's try to, um, for example, uh, use another. Uh, by default, the horizontal alignment, if we have noticed, of the uh, flow layout is center aligned, okay? So we can actually modify that um, by uh, uh, using the flow layout that right in the uh, argument of the flow layout. Okay, so uh, how, how can we use this um, declaration of this object? So we will just specify the right layout uh, inside of the set uh, layout. Okay, so I'll just have to change this one. So this time around, I'm using the uh, second um, uh, object, which is the uh, right layout, okay, to display the um, GUI components right um, aligned. So as you can see, it, all the GUI components now uh, can be seen at the um, you know right side of the frame. If you're going to maximize this, all in one line, but uh, still on the uh, right side. Okay, so the same thing happens if you're going to use the left uh, layout here with the flow layout that left. Okay, so for example, we just have to specify a left layout, which is the object name. And then once you run, okay, you can now see all the GUI components now are on the left um, side of the frame. Okay, so next. What about this um, last um, example? Okay, so if you're going to use the layout for um, object, okay, take note that the uh, parameter of the flow layout here or the argument has uh, three um, arguments or parameter. The first is the horizontal alignment. Uh, for example, we have flow layout the center. And then the second is um, the horizontal gap or uh, the horizontal uh, space in between a component. And then, uh, the vertical gap, for example, the space in between the first line and the second line. Okay, so let's try to use the layout for for you to uh, see the um, the difference of three arguments. So there you go. So uh, again, we have flow layout center, okay, which is the default um, horizontal alignment of flow layout, and then uh, the fifth um, value here is meaning fifteen pixels so space in between from three digit between three digit and four digits so this one uh, is the 15 pixels 15 pixels 15 okay what about the 20 so the space of button to the text area okay so this one is 20 uh, spaces okay for example if you want to uh, put a 50 spaces there vertical uh, gap okay if we're going to run again 
So there you go. That's the difference. We have now um more uh spaces, uh, you know, or more uh vertical gap in between of our buttons or uh, for the first line and the second um line. Okay. So that's how we uh, uh use or uh, yes the or use the um layout um, manager specifically the flow uh, layout and that's all for today and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing and as always show your love through comments and favorites god bless and thank you for watching